Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Wednesday, April the 12th. The year's 2023. Let's talk trading. Red news trading. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Today, we have a lot of red news. A lot. And the thing about news trading is... <laughs> It's only for those who have the uh, intestinal fortitude, also known as guts, to do it. Because things can move fast. You can get wiped out in the blink of an eye. I mean, um, it's actually some of my favorite trading because it's like a video game. Because it's just so quick. Um, but so many things can go wrong. I mean, your, com your computer could freeze because all the so much data is coming in um your connection could you know drop in the middle of a trade <laughs> i mean this could happen anytime but especially it, it just seems like it it really happens a lot during the news um you can see here how they move price up and one of the things that um i do sometimes is i'll anticipate and it for whatever reason whichever way they move it right before the the news they move it the other way and see here they were moving it down and then i thought this they're gonna they're gonna run this thing up and yeah and i think you guys have heard me say that before so somebody could go oh that's just hindsight but no it happens a lot um especially on nfp days um and the CPI days like today, there's, it's just one thing, but if you don't want to anticipate the trade, you'll let that first minute or two go by. And so usually if it moves up strong, then the next candle, a lot of times it'll move up strong. You can see it never even turned bearish. It just kept going. And then that's when you wait. And a lot of times you can just rate wait for the round numbers, you know, 50, 60, 70, or the psychological 50, 75, double O, and start looking for reversals. But it's pretty much the same trading um, over and over again, but the only difference is, is that it's a lot quicker. Um, you just really have to be quick on the draw. I can't say that, I can't emphasize that enough. And sometimes you should just be patient and wait for your trade. So maybe if you like to trade M1, um, what you might want to do is just move up a time frame and then wait for a signal. So here, um, you know, looking on this one, you may have been tempted. And to tell you the truth, I was tempted to go short right there. But I didn't because I was doing this video. Plus, it's like, move up a time frame. And you can see, you've got a ball. So let's move up another one. Okay, we've got a three ball here. No ball there. So then you can drop back down and then wait for your signal on this time frame, which is M5. Now, price is the same on all chart periods. So it doesn't matter one minute one month or anything in between. The price is 124.620 on all of them. Now, you'll just see more, you'll have more candles uh, when you come down to the one minute, you'll have less candles when you go up to the uh, monthly over the same time period. So one month, you'll have what, four weeks and 20 to 22 days of trading and you know about uh what 120 or so h4 candles um so once again just remember price is the same but you just get more candles it's just how you compress the data least compression most compression that's all and so once again you can see here price is moving back up now I do believe I have fibs on one of these charts, and here we go. So you can see, uh, I guess we'd have to kind of snap a line to see what that is. 
that was about 60 some pips so 30 67 pips call it 68 so 34 pips off of this three ball would have been right about here so it almost did a 50% retrace so here we've got a three ball we can look to go short probably late in the trade so this is a 10% retrace 23% 38.50. So we can just wait and see what happens. But you know, this is 18. No, this is almost uh, 45 minutes after the the last news. But you can see what's transpired. Kind of kicking myself for not holding on to those shorts for longer, but that's okay. And I believe we've got more red news coming out. It's 7 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock East Coast time, and then 11 o'clock my time, 2 p.m. East Coast time. So you can see here, you may have taken that short, but as you have a three ball, it told you to wait. Why? Because that was a bullish candle. So what you're going to do is look for consolidation. If that would have said short, um, then you just look to short. Does it work every time? Mm. No, of course not. But see here, that would have been a short. It ran back up, and then it came down for a nice trade. The difference is, is the candle color that's where the three ball, the semaphore, is being placed. And it looks like they want to take price up. We got a new three ball. They might want to take it up to the 75, maybe all the way up to 2500 before they drop it again. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. And the other thing about news trading, you have to be careful with your position size. Um, you don't want to trade too heavy because, once again, you could get wiped out if you quote-unquote guess wrong. And we don't want that to happen. And we can, you know, scan through the charts to get a reading here. Inside bar happened five days ago. We touched that monthly inside bar high from two months ago and bounced off of that. Yesterday, you can see there was a breakout of that inside bar. Uh, yearly, 383 above. Let's see, 42 was the opening range for the week high. See, we broke out of that. We broke out of the uh, opening range for the month also today. Heading towards that psychological 75 right now. Hmm. All those gaps are filled. Range is only 77. That's still on a red news day. We've only got four pairs over 100. Looks like things are slowing down. You can see here, big H1 candle. We went right through the daily open. And we also went right through that weekly open last hour. We're definitely in the rat zone here. P 
pivot trading plan near R1 short. It worked the first time. This time we've rocketed through. We now we're at the um, psychological 75. And we'll just have to see, do they take it all the way to 2,500, then roll it over? We took out today's pivot. We took out the weekly. Haven't taken out the monthly pivot yet. Shot out of the wick zone on the upside twice. You see on the downside. And the flip-flop box on the, let's see, on the M5, definitely shot across. We are nearing the upper ATR range. Whoops. Right here we broke across that previous three ball. Out of the higher, high, higher low box, or out of the higher low box. Yeah, higher, high, higher low box right here. And you can see once again, sticking with the uh, indicator two. So fellow traders, um, if you're gonna trade the news, be careful, start out light before you get the hang of it because we don't wanna see your account get wiped out. Because remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and out.